Aloha, this is Jonathan. Welcome. I decided to try something a little different. Well, uh, partially because I was forced to. My son is doing his reading class right now, so that's usually where I do my unboxing videos. But I really, I couldn't wait anymore. Um, so I set everything up outside. Hopefully the wind won't blow out my candle because it's, it's breezy. You know, I don't know if you've ever heard about the trade winds of Hawaii. But yeah, it's uh, kind of windy here. Mm -hmm. Really bad in the afternoons. But, you know, it also keeps it a lot cooler. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm so excited. <laughs> so, just a little background. I don't have any of the previous editions of this deck. Um, so this, ooh, it's so pretty. Is that, oh, oh, it's a magnet. Oh, I love that. Cool, very cool. Um, ooh, and it smells divine. Oof. Must have been blessed before being sent out, maybe? Okay, so this is my very first Spirit Keeper Tarot, and um, by the time I had heard about the, these decks, uh, the first and second edition were long sold out and like, you know, <laughs> going to four or five hundred dollars on eBay if you could even find them. So, yeah, I need to say I never got myself a copy. Um, but when I found out third edition was coming out and it was color, which, you know, I've, I'm, I've got a thing about color. I love me some color. So, oh, gorgeous box. Beneficent in command and word was Isis, the goddess of magic spells. The company of gods rejoiced at the coming of Horus, the son of Osiris, the triumphant whose heart was steadfast, son of Isis, heir of Osiris, Kefri, creator of the gods. You are seated upon your throne, illuminating your mother Nut, bull of Amanet, Toth, the king of eternity. You are with me. My hair is the hair of Nut goddess of the sky. My face is the face of Aten, disc of the sun. My eyes are the eyes of Hathor, goddess of joy. My ears are the ears of Wapepawet, god of war. May the eye of Horus protect me, keep me in safety, and may my adversaries fall down headlong before me. Well, ain't that potent. <laughs> so, uh, I'm assuming these are the backs, and this is my certificate of authenticity. I am number 518. Ooh. Oh, um, so I am lucky. Uh, I've, I've heard that uh, for some people this is upright and this was reversed, but for me, obviously, it's perfect. Dare to know, sapre ade. Love the inside here, that's gorgeous. Here comes more tourists. You can hear the planes go overhead. Here is the little white book. I do have the other book, it's inside. Um, I probably should have brought it out to show you guys, but um, so there is a separate book you can order through Lulu, but it does come with enough. Oh, and it looks like it's color. Very dense with information, as I would expect from Benabelle. And it's 83 pages total. You also get the I Ching trigram correspondences in the back here. Tell me what it is you seek, I will show you the way. 
Lay your fears by my feet, I will dispel them. Name what afflicts you, I can heal it. Whatsoever you need, I shall provide. Here is your refuge. Here you will find sanctuary. Sanctuary! Oh. Oh, mystical boxes on the inside, too. Ooh, this is just seeped with esoteric stuff. Mmm, I love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big old esoteric geek. <laughs> what can I say? I love the gilding on here. Oh no, I guess different back for the certificates. Very cool. So these are the backs, obviously. A lovely gold gilding on the sides. And this is my first, I haven't seen any unboxings, I haven't seen any, um, even any unboxings of the originals, because, you know, I was like, <laughs> what's the point? I'm not gonna, I don't have $400 to buy a deck. So, <laughs> so this is gonna be my first ever look at any Spirit Keeper Tarot deck. So, coming at this brand new, so I love to have the I Ching here. Not sure. I'm I'm looking forward to diving in deep because I know that she, Benabel, packed a lot of esoteric stuff into here. Yeah. Ab Inito Mundi. Yeah. So we have the initiative instead of the fool, which I appreciate. Oh. Oh, I see. Huh. Initiate the Seeker Spirit in Search of Science Spirit in Search of Experience The Keeper Spirit Petition of Spirit So those are all zeros So there's three fools to choose from But then none of them are the fool, right? Oh, interesting. Oh, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm glad I ordered the journal from Lulu as well, because this is obviously going to be one of those, like, put everything else aside and just focus on this, because, like I said, just give me layers of esoterica and you've got my attention. Oh, it's the Aurora Boris from, or, uh, what is it called? It's the, uh, it's totally a symbol from Never Ending Story. <laughs> the Magus. Divine power of the mortal spirits. Very cool. These are gorgeous. Sanctuary of Ice. The Priestess. Yeah, there's definitely, like, there's so many layers to each of these images. I am so happy to finally have a copy, though, because this is... Wow. So that's a minor bird you hear. The Emperor. Commander of intellect Intellections. Park of the Covenant there, that's a nice touch. Oh, so, like I said, I could comb through these for hours, but this is just supposed to be unboxing, so we won't <laughs> get into it, otherwise we're going to be here forever. I love this Hierophant, Master of the Arcanes. Gorgeous. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. This is quickly jumping to, like, the top of my pile of decks is one that I think I'll be reaching for often. <laughs> Chariot. Wow, that's gorgeous. Eyes. Mouth. Ooh. So, I'm getting lost in the details. And then, of course, you know, there's... That looks like the Mayan numbers. 
Um, that's the Ching, or was it? And anyway, we got the uh, Western um, astrology, and I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to sit down with the book. I got the big book, all right? The book of maps. Oh, here we go. There's that sign again. The I am just having a total brain fart. So, just premise, about four days ago, I got my booster shot for um, the Pfizer, and I've had weird, crazy brain fog. Like, my brain doesn't want to function properly. Uh, and the last time I got the shot, that lasted about seven days. So I'm hoping that it's just you know, a repeat of that and will fade, because I'm like, my brain doesn't, like, I know the name of this, but my brain doesn't want to, like, pull it up. It's weird. It's like, <laughs> there's a disconnect somewhere. But, oh, that's amazing. I love this hermit, and instead of being the hermit, it's the er erudite. I love that. Hermit of the Mysteries. I do appreciate the immense diversity that I've seen so far. Wheel of Life. So many different types of sphinxes. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Obviously meant to be uh, read with reversals, right? The Chancellor instead of Justice. I appreciate that. And I love the onk behind them. The outlaw instead of the hanged man. Sacrifice and redemption. I love the Merkaba for the eye. Oh god, there's so much there's so much detail. Wow. Yeah, these are <laughs> these are amazing. The Reaper. Divine Higher Genius. Oh, I know. Those are Oum. Wow. Okay. So we have Oum too? Or maybe not. Do we? I don't... <laughs> I'm a little confused. Like I said, my brain's not working right. But I am definitely taking it. Oh, the demon instead of the devil. I like that. Battling the typh Typhon. So much. Layering here. Material and spiritual colliding. Mm -hmm, the tower. Oh, I love this. Instead of the star, it's the healer. Oh, I love that image. Apparently, I'm not the only one. <laughs> I love that one, too. That's gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. The Necromancer for the moon. I love that Anubis. That's a gorgeous Anubis, Anubis image. The warrior for the sun. Archangel. I want to say Gabriel, but should it be Michael? <laughs> Brain, not functioning. Apocalypse instead of judgment. Interesting. Alpha and Omega signs merged into one. Wow, that's a that's a deep image. <laughs> New World Order. Whoa. Crown of the Magi. Ace of Scepters, the Awakening. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I guess we're getting all the aces together. So here we have the Holy Grail, Ace of Chalices, the Purifying. Sacred Word, Ace of Swords, the Crowning. Oh, 
bread of life, ace of orbs, the deepening. Oh, there's the magic square. I guess now we're going to get the twos, the threes. Two of scepters. I love that. Two of chalices. Ooh, those miners are loud right now. <laughs> wow, that's gorgeous. Oh, and that's the... Yeah. I love that symbol. It's a gorgeous symbol. The two of orbs. Can we skip? No. Three of scepters. Three of chalices. Three of swords of Isis in the background, that's interesting. And three of orbs. Ooh, itchy nose, sorry. Angel of Art and Grace, Archangel of Glory. Ooh. Extra card is suddenly popping up here. Archangel of Healing, Angel who salves and purifies. Angel of Storms and Battles, the Archangel Commander. That looks like Michael. Angel who illuminates the shadow. Archangel of Mysteries. Oh, I love this. The Golden Shield. Sanctum of Splendor, the Ivory Shield, Sanctum of the Immaculate, the Scarlet Shield, Sanctum of the Valent, the Ebony Shield, Sanctum of Treasure. Embers of the Salamander, the Shining Flame. Waves of the Undine, the Shining Waters. These must be the Knights. Winds of the Sylph, the Shining Gale. Caverns of the Gnome, the Shining Quarry. Okay, so I guess the Archangel must have been, must be the king. The shield must be the queen. The shining whatever must be the knight. And the herald must be the page, maybe? Awakening the brilliance. Inspire the prodigy, herald of waters. Adventure of the Dauntless, Herald of the Wind, Dedication of the Adepts, Herald of the Earth. So that must be the courts. Oh, excuse me, I have a really itchy nose. Oof. Four of Scepters, the Demiurge. Oh, I love this image. Four of Chalices, the Hollow Void. Mm. Oh, that's a little biplane. Four of Swords, the convalescence. I love this image. Oh, they're loud up there. Four of Orbs, the conservator. That's why I don't usually. <laughs> film outside, but, you know, I thought today it might be fun. The Contender, Five of Scepters, Five of Chalices, The Grotesque. 
Hmm. There's so many layers to everything. <laughs> Five of Swords, the Hector. Oh. Five of Orbs, the Vagabond. Six of Scepters, the Champion. Six of Chalices, the Memory Keeper. I keep doing that because I, I keep thinking I have two cards. It's just that this is really nice, thick. It's still pliable, but really thick. Cardstock. I love this cardstock. I can't wait to shuffle this. Uh, Six of Swords, the Quester. That's a different take on the Six of Swords. Six of Orbs, the Giver. Seven of Scepters, the Dark Horse. I love the random like deities that like just show up in the background. <laughs> Seven of chalices, the corrupter. Oh. Choices, choices, right? Seven of swords, the rogue. Seven of orbs, the gardener. Very meditative. Uh, oh, it's a pheasant. Took me a second to figure out what was in the background there. Um, eight of scepters, the sharpshooter. Oh, I see the eight arrows going up, right? Eight of chalices, the defector. There they go, I'm walking away. Eight of swords, the captor. Oh, she looks like she's sitting on those two behind her. I mean, she was not blindfolded. Eight of Orbs, the Journeyman. Mmm. I love that take on the eight. The nine of Scepters, the Pugilist. Pugilist. Pu oh my god, my brain's not working. Sorry, guys. The nine of Chalices, the Wish. Granted. Oh, I love this image. That's gorgeous. The Nine of Swords, the Haunt. The Nine of Orbs, the Eminence. Ten of Scepters, the Burdened One. Oh, Atlas. Mm. Ten of Chalices, the Joyous One. I recognize that figure, but my brain doesn't want to uh, connect, right? The, like, my neurons are not connecting properly. I know that goddess. Uh, brain. <laughs> Ten of Swords, the Destroyer. Ten of Orbs, the Dynasty. I love that. Passing on the knowledge and everything. I love that. With the hidden Sephiroth as... Is that the Morning Glory? What is that flower? That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This deck is amazing. And now for the shuffle test. <laughs> Oh, I can already tell it's going to be a good shuffle. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a very yummy shuffle, I gotta say. A yummy shuffle. Listen to me. Gorgeous. Now, should I do a six-card deck interview? I guess. I mean, this is my first copy of this deck, so I guess.
this would be good to know exactly what my relationship with it should be, right? And I can't really compare it to the previous editions. I don't have any of them. So I'm just going to see what my deck number 518, which reduces down to 14, Temperance and Seraphant. Oh, interesting. So this deck is here to teach me balance and wisdom. And the Esoterica. Oh, okay. I know, it's shuffling at AMSR, right? <laughs> shuffling with the sound of doves in the background and wind chimes, and I can't shuffle when I'm talking, apparently. <laughs> uh. Just a couple more times, then some overhand, and then I'll move this box out of the way, and we will do a little deck interview here. Ooh, the wind's trying to pick up more. Let me just move this off. These guys as well. Um, and so um, I'm using a specific spread that I found online. Oh god, I don't even remember how long ago now, but it's it's a typical six card spread, right? It's just kind of like triangle, triangle, almost one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's Tell me about yourself. What are your strengths of the deck? What are your limits of the deck? What are you here to teach me? How can I best learn and collaborate with you? And then what's the potential outcome of the relationship? So that's the deck, I, or the, the quick spread for deck interviews. I have another one that's about, I think it's eight cards. And it creates like a little pyramid and it's a little more in depth. So I might do that one later, but just for the brevity of this, I'm making sure this video is not 50 million years long. <laughs> Let's see. So, oh, tell me about yourself. Five of Swords. Oh, yeah, gets right down to the truth, no matter what. What are your strengths as a deck? The politic. Three of Scepters. Oh, interesting. Okay, and what are your limits as a deck? Oh, what? That's coming out reversed. That's funny. Um, the sharpshooter. Oh, it is. You're not. <laughs> so it's funny because it's reversed. I'm going to read it as it's not good with slow. With anything slow, it needs to be fast. It doesn't want to be slow. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, what are you here to teach me how to? release, let go, and move on, right? Uh, how can I best learn and collaborate with you? We've got Caverns of the Gnome, the Shining Quarry. Oh, so it's the Knight of Pentacles, okay. And then the final one is the Potential Outcome, Five of Scepters. So we start with the Five of Swords, and we end with the Five of Scepters. That's interesting. So, and I, of course, always have to look at the bottom. Oh, of course, the Lovers. <laughs> um, huh, okay, so obviously this deck doesn't pull any punches, right? It's really good at helping with, like, 
making decisions, figuring out how to work best with others, not so good with things being slow, with the eight of scepters upside down, it makes me think that like, take, being slow at things, it, it's just not good at that. Um, it's here to teach me how to be able to let go, be reborn, let go of the old to embrace the new, and then how I, can I best collaborate, which is funny because it's like, doesn't like the slow, but how can I best collaborate being slow with it, right? And then the potential outcome, five of scepters, it's almost, for me, it's almost like So, I don't know if you can see, but like here you got two hands pulling, here you got two snakes pulling, here we got two hands, this hand's pulling on two, and this snake is pulling on two, right? So it's like this like constant battle, so that I think the outcome is being the center one that's like blocking the conflict, saying, okay, you can have different ideas, but let's not get overboard with it. like. Let's look at each one individually. Let's not get like saying mine's right because they could all be right. So that's what I'm getting from this. And of course, the underlying thing is just being in love with a new deck. <laughs> so, well, that is amazing. And I, oh, this is such a pretty, pretty deck, I gotta say. I'm glad I finally have a copy of this very coveted deck, and uh, yeah, let me know, did you order this? Do you already have the other two, or are you one of the completists that has all three editions? Um, or maybe you ordered an old edition and um, like moved it on for some reason? Uh, but yeah, just, just let me know in the comments. Do you have this deck? Are you thinking about getting it? Um, well, what do you know? Like, what do you know about the deck? What do you... What do you hope to gain from using this deck, I guess, is a good question. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching and uh, being here with me while I, you know, dived in and probably gushed a little too much and talked a little too much. <laughs> but, I don't know, I just... I have never seen this deck before because I purposely didn't want to see it when I knew I couldn't get it. And then I, and I got it and then I was like, well, since I haven't seen it, I might as well stay not having seen it so I can really just dive in here. So. Oh, and there goes another airplane. So on that note, aloha and hui ho. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that uh, notification bell. Woo! Aloha.